The most important concept for modern ultralights is learning how to fly safely. My name is Paul Hamilton. I'm going to take you through my experience of learning to fly a trike and become an instructor. This will help you develop your piloting skills easily and safely. In this video, we'll start out with the basics of flying a trike by flying practical maneuvers necessary to solo. Then we'll cover important areas specific to ultralight trikes. We will also highlight areas needing further study, all for you to become a safe pilot. Paul, we're going to go through the startup procedure. We already have our brakes set and we've checked our plane to make sure that it won't move. So we're actually satisfied that if we pull on the plane, the brake is actually working. The next thing we're going to do in our checklist... I want you to look down and find the throttle. Place your hand on it. I want you to go ahead and release the brake. Allow the plane to taxi if necessary. Bring the throttle smoothly and for, uh, slowly forward to the full power position. Place your hands onto the control bar. As our airspeed starts to increase, I want you to slowly bring the control bar forward. As we lift off, retain the control bar back to retain airspeed. In the event of a power failure at this time, we have enough airspeed built up to actually make a sufficient landing. The fundamental regulation is FIR 103 that allows us to operate a single seat ultralight under 254 pounds. The worst overall performance conditions are a small engine with no reduction drive, maximum gross weight, a high altitude. When you are initially learning to fly, it is best to learn with the sights, sounds, and feel of the aircraft. Yeah, let's go to idle. Directly to idle. Your instructor will monitor the instruments while you learn to fly. However, as you gain experience, instruments can be tools in helping you fly better and also monitoring the health of your engine. Your indicated airspeed reads slower than your true airspeed at higher altitudes because the air is less dense. Let's use an example. Studying weather is very important because it helps us evaluate the air we fly in. From a safety viewpoint, you look at weather to make sure the limitations you are capable of are not exceeded. You also look at weather to estimate what the air will be like. Smooth and choppy are two common terms for the texture of the air. I like smooth and predictable air. However, more active air such as thermal columns are also fun to fly in. Luckily today, we have satellite imagery computer modeling, weather observations, and weather predictions all around us. A sectional aeronautical map is mandatory to get the airspace information around where you are flying. It is the law to understand the airspace you are flying in. 